With concerns surrounding access to health care in neighboring Martinique rising, the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs convened a meeting with key stakeholders on Friday, July 5th. The primary objective of the meeting was to discuss and obtain solutions for the logistical and immigration challenges faced by St. Lucian nationals who travel to Martinique in search of essential medical treatment. Consul General of St. Lucia to the French Antilles, Ms. Alison Joseph, spoke to the necessity of the exchange. And what happens when people are sick, we become anxious and we want immediate answers, we want immediate support and because of the delays in f getting um, appointments in Martinique, you find our St. Lucians begin to reach out to, Saint Lu to the consulate for help. So us today having deliberated on the challenges that we face, the challenges of the consulate, the challenges of persons trying to access care in Martinique. We were able to deliberate on that and clearly establish the real problems so that we can begin to tackle it. So was today's meeting successful? I say yes. Present at the meeting were Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Ms. Jenny Daniel, Deputy Permanent Secretary, Mr. Ernest Nobel, Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Sharon Belmar george Director of Universal Health Coverage, Dr. Alicia Eugene Ford, Consul General Alison Joseph, Dr. Glensford Joseph, Dr. David Briefwit, representatives from the Ministry of External Affairs and representatives from the Office of the Commissioner of Police. The team discussed concerns surrounding delays, persons experienced who needed access to critical medical procedures, and the fact that this can exert additional emotional strain and may exacerbate medical issues. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Ms. Jenny Daniel, indicates that the ministry recognizes the challenges faced by nationals who seek medical interventions and specialized services in Martinique. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs is always mindful of the fact that as a result of some of the services being unavailable in St. Lucia, we have many nationals who access medical care in Martinique, whether these be diagnostic or treatment of medical um, conditions. As a result, we aim to ensure that St. Lucians who need to access those services, whether it be through our medical assistance program or otherwise, can do so in a manner that causes as least stress and emotional distraught as possible. Therefore, we have convened this meeting today with a number of agencies. The Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Sharon Belmar george says the cause of concern by St. Lucia Nationals is a cause for concern for the Ministry of Health. She indicates a viable course of action was tabled and a list of strategic plans will be implemented by the stakeholders in due course. We do get complaints from patients in relation to the different steps that's needed in an effort to access care and many times the care is needed in an emergency case. So we were able to discuss um, the referral um, processes that are in place, the processing of the documents through the immigration department and also the role of the consulate, the St. Lucian consulate in Martinique and come up with a number of recommendations to strengthen the system that exists to ensure that persons who want to access care over in Martinique can be done in a more efficient manner. The round table discussion concluded with all parties satisfied with the way forward. This provides a pathway towards improving the manner in which St. Lucians access healthcare services in neighboring Martinique. For the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Jade Brown.